Happy Monday. Today is October 15th, the new moon in Libra. And so today we have some wonderful power words. We have our power prayer, our oracle card reading. We'll be using the goddess cards and then our tarot card. And of course, my message for the week. So happy new moon, everyone. We're in the middle of October. And so let's just begin as we always do. And I just want to let you know, I do have my rose quartz with me today, which should give you a hint about what our power words. Today's power words are love and liberation. And because the new moon is in Libra, which is all about finding harmony and flow and balance, it's also about love and nurturing yourself and nurturing your love relationships. So the reason I chose liberation is because there's so much freedom in love. Love is the risk of really opening yourself up. Love is also the healer of all wounds. Love is also can feel fill all of your empty spaces. Love just is that amazing, intense, and free of fear feeling. And so with that said, let's just take this to prayer, knowing right here and now, divine, the good, the goddess is all that there is. And I know that goddess is love. I know goddess is liberation. I know goddess is peace and prosperity, grace and gratitude. I know that God is clarity and focus, healing and revealing. I know that all these things and all that is good is the divine that is the God is in all of us. And as I know, I am one with the goddess. I am one with all that the goddess is. I live, breathe, and have my being in God. I know that this is true for everyone listening to this video and watching this video. And so it is from this place of oneness, of wholeness, of peace, of love, of liberation, that I speak these words knowing that right here and now, all is good because all is God. And so I release any fear, any doubt, any worry, any story of the past, any history, any cord, any seed, any root, anything that is holding you back from the liberation that love is. I just ask you to go now. You are no longer needed here. The door is closed. Today is my new beginning, my new awakening. And this is the truth for everyone watching and listening to this video. How good it is to know the divine, how good it is to know the goddess is in and through and as each of us. I am so grateful for my blessings. I am so grateful for this technology and this divine and perfect timing, how good it is. I am so grateful. I release these words knowing it is good because it is goddess. I let it be, and so it is. So that is my love for you today. And so I said we're using the goddess cards. Of course, I'm using my Doreen Virtue. And whenever there's a moon energy, I always like to use my goddess cards just because I strongly connect with my divine goddessness. And the moon energy is a very feminine energy, as well as the fact that I am a cancer and ruled by the moon. So I have a tri triple trifecta today. So I'm hoping that everyone is catching up with me on my fan page and checking out some of my photos from the TV show um, here. The International Psychic Challenge here in Ukraine. If you have not, check out my fan page on Facebook, Tara Life Coach, or you can friend me, Tanya Melendez. Um, and I will be having a new fan page that will be able to um, accommodate my Spanish speaking clients as well as my Ukrainian speaking and Russian. So, with that said, let's see what the goddess has to say today. And I'm again just so grateful for all the blessings that have been just manifesting in my life and I know that this the reason I chose love and liberation is because this is what we all needed right now so good oh excellent excellent so the first one we get and this is really wonderful because it is all about that connection to the moon and that moon energy we get eggshell medicine woman you are a channel for divine healing power remember I said love is the healer the ultimate healer fear and love cannot coexist. So if you are loving, then that erases all fear. It heals all wounds. It fills those empty spaces. So allow yourself to feel love, be love, see love, shine love, breathe love, talk love, think love, whatever it is. Just know and really commit yourself to moving from a place of fear-based limits to unlimited liberation and love. 
and that's why I got today's message. And then this is great. Siege, quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. So today being Monday and also a new moon, I always like to take extra time today and really allow myself to be connected to that energy and what it feels like and how it is incorporating love and liberation and grace and gratitude and whatever other feelings I need or my intentions for this new moon to come to fruition. I have to have time to allow myself to feel those feelings. So give yourself the gift of quiet time today. And given the fact that we're talking about love and liberation, we get Pele, divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So take time. This is excellent with this being a new moon for you to really focus on what is your heart's true desire. And, you know, I would really like to say, Anyone who answers that question for me, you can leave a comment on my Facebook or you can leave a comment here on YouTube. Let me know, what is your heart's true desire? If you need some help, if you need some prayer, I would love to offer you prayer. But if you don't tell me who you are, I won't know what it is. So if you have time or if you really want to connect with me and you know get some one-on-one, -on -one, don't hesitate to send me an email at tarolifecoach at gmail.com. Or just check out my website, you know, or just send me an email, whatever you want to do. But I don't know what you need until you tell me. So I'm sharing my love and liberation with you. So share your love and liberation with me because it makes me just that much better. It helps me shine my light more when I know that I'm doing good for everyone who watches the video and everyone who listens and, you know, who calls in on the radio show with Ron and I every Thursday. So... That said, let's see what our tarot reading is for today. And goody, goody, goody. All right, so we are just surrounded by love. Okay, so the first card we get, which is very telling, is the fool. So you have to be willing to take the risk. Stop telling yourself you can't. Stop limiting yourself. Again, let love be your guide. Let your heart be your guide. Let your love be your guide instead of it your fear because so many of us are afraid but the fool card is all about taking that risk going for it knowing that there's a net down there to catch you even if you take the risk and it's not what you wanted it to be or what you thought it would be if you never take the leap you won't have the experience and that is what opening yourself and loving and liberating yourself really is is having the experience and allowing yourself to go for it without being afraid of what's going to happen because it could turn out better than you ever expected but you have to take the leap first and then our second one is the two of rods in between two different things. But remember, rods represent fire and spirit. And so your spirit is calling you to open yourself up. Be liberated. Be open. Now he's holding a globe. Allow yourself to see beyond your comfort zone. This is all about opening yourself freedom. That's what it's about. That's what liberation is. So allow yourself to see beyond your comfort zone, beyond your walls, beyond your neighborhood, beyond your city, beyond your country. See yourself where and what is your heart's greatest, truest desire. And then we have ten of rods. So it's very good that we have rods because it's really all about your inner fire, your inner spirit. And it's all about taking with you what you need and leaving the rest behind. And with today being a new moon, this card is really good because you're coming home, home to yourself, home to your love, home to your taking care of yourself. And so it's really about, again, giving yourself the freedom and the gift of loving yourself and healing yourself and your wounds and healing any relationships with anyone that need to be fixed or even just healing the relationship with yourself. And so also with this is forgiveness. So give yourself the gift of forgiveness because it really begins to heal that heart chakra. And so I'm just sending out waves and waves of beautiful green light to heal that heart chakra. So take a nice deep breath and accept my divine blessing of Archangel Raphael. Heal the hearts, the minds, the spirits of anyone who is in need of some divine love, some divine wisdom, some divine healing now. I know that love and liberation surround each and every one of us. I'm just so grateful again to be sharing what I do with you. This is my love letter to you every single week and I get to do it 
thankfully because of this wonderful technology. So until next week, enjoy this new moon. Make sure you write down your heart's true desire because once you write it, the universe picks up on it. And, you know, even if you don't write it, just meditate on it. Again, you need this quiet time to really get yourself. What is it that you need? We are two months away from the end of the year. And how are your goals? How are your intentions? How are you living the life that you wanted? So remember, it starts with you. It has to start with you. So liberate yourself. Liberate yourself in love. Be free in love. Be free in who you are. Know that you are loved. You are blessed. And I am just so grateful to have you in my loving, loving life, in my loving light. So until next week, everyone, peace and blessings.